Blackview has made quite a few phones this year, but the P2 is actually one of the most interesting devices. The phone is well made, it has good specs and a huge 6000 mAh battery. Is it any good? My name is Linus, stay tuned for the full review. The phone ships with all the usual stuff and it has some extras like a soft TPU case, a pair of cheap earphones, a screen protector and the USB ODG cable. The Blackview P2 is a well-made phone that spars a great build quality and it uses mostly metal in the construction. Also I really love this light blue color of the phone. Once you first pick the phone up, you will notice that the device is quite heavy and it is a little bit thicker due to a huge 6000 mAh battery inside. Still, I'm quite impressed that the thickness of the phone is just above 10mm considering such a huge capacity of the battery. The buttons are nice and tactile, but they rattle a little bit. The 5.5 inches 1080p display is sharp and vibrant, however, it has a somewhat colder looking colors for my taste. We have an 8 megapixels front firing camera and the LED notification light on the top, however, the capacitive buttons are not backlit. On the back, you can find a 13 megapixels camera and a single LED flash. The fingerprint scanner is fast, accurate and it can unlock the phone straight from the standby mode. The loudspeaker is placed on the bottom, which is great, but the sound quality is kind of mediocre, the sound is kind of flat. The phone comes with the audio effect sound enhancement, which works as a sound equalizer. The Blackview P2 is quite a powerful device for the price. It ships with an octa-core MTK6750 chip which is clocked at 1.5 GHz, 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of expandable storage. The gaming performance is good but not great. I had quite a few skipped frames on the Asphalt 8 on the very highest graphics settings. On the other hand, the phone handles this game on medium graphics without any issues. Finally, the phone does not have any overheating issues. The Blackview P2 comes with the Android 6.0 out of the box with a proprietary skin on top of it. The skin removes the app tray and it completely redesigns the icons whether you like it or not. The phone doesn't really have extra features to play with except for the fact that you can customize a few things like the notification LED light. Most importantly, I didn't have any lag or stutter even after installing quite a few apps. When it comes to the image quality, you can take some decent daylight images. The colors look nice and there is a decent amount of detail, however, you may see a little bit of noise and softer focus on the corners in some of the shots. The quality decreases in lower lit situations and if you take a lot of close-up shots, you need to hold your phone steadily to avoid blurriness. The night photos could definitely look better, there is quite a lot of noise and less detail. So currently I'm shooting with a Black U P2. This is handled footage, it's super cool but it's a quite a sunny day. The 1080p video quality is not bad and you can take some decent looking footage. However, there are quite a few video artifacts. The front firing camera takes okay looking selfies but the colors could look a little bit more natural. As far as connectivity, I have no complaints at all. The signal reception has been strong all the time, the call quality is good and the GPS is accurate. One of the key selling points of this phone is the 6000 mAh battery that performs very well on the daily basis. I could easily get 2 days of moderate usage out of this phone which is a very good result. If you are a light user, the phone will last you at least 3 or 4 days. That translates to more than 8 hours of screen and time which is a fantastic result. Also, the phone comes with a fast charger and I was able to fully charge the phone in around 1 hour and 35 minutes. 
the Blackview P2 is a pretty solid smartphone for the price of around 190 bucks, but it doesn't mean it's a perfect phone. It has a great design and build quality, a sharp display, good daily performance, and a fantastic battery life thanks to the built-in 6000 mAh unit. Also, the phone has great specs for the price. However, the camera is not always consistent, especially when it comes to the low-light photography. Also, the capacitive buttons are not backlit and the loudspeaker could be a lot better. At the end of the day, the Blackview P2 is a decent offering for the price, but as always, you have to consider a few shortcomings before making a purchase. It was Linus, thanks for watching, and if you guys have any questions, please drop me a comment down below. Also, please visit gizmochina.com for all the latest and greatest Chinese tech news and reviews, and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. See you in the next video soon.